six, nine, in this video, we're going to fix the Creality K1 and the K1 Max's input shaping problem. Apparently, lots of people are having resonance problems on the K1 and the K1 Max series. So, we're going to fix that in this video. If you follow along with this tutorial, you will be able to fix it in about 5 minutes. First thing we have to do, we have to go to our configure files. And here, you have to go to gcodemicro.cfg file. And here you have to go down until you find Auto Tune Shapers G code file, which is here. What you have to do is variable Auto Tune Shapers here, this line here. You have to uncomment it with a hashtag in front, like this. And when it's uncommented, it will be like gray shaded. And that means you have done it. And then you press uh, save and restart. That's the first step you have to do. Second thing you have to do is is to go to this website here. It's a Google Drive. It's the a, a macro extra macro file that you need to add into your printer. And once you go here, you just press download, go to your fluid, and here you add it up to your printer, as you can see here, extra underscore macro dot CFG file. If you have add that, you go to your printer dot CFG file, which is here, and then you include extra macro.cfg file which is here you just type this in as you have done it will turn orange in my system it does and then you also click save and restart now we have to go to our dashboard here and you will be able to see input shaper x and input shaper y so we're starting with the input shaper y you just click on it and your printer will just uh, start the input shaper for the y-axis. You just let it do its thing. Afterwards, we're going to do the input shaper X. As you can see here, it is doing all the testing frequencies one by one. And once this is finished, as I said, we're going to do the uh, X-axis as well. Here you can see the printer is restarting after all the calculation has been done. It just did. It says ZV is an input shaper type that is good for my printer. And also the frequency is 46.4 Hertz. And you can see all kinds of um, information also in this section here. But now we don't have to do safe config because it already has. Let us check here. Configuration, printer.cfg, scroll down all the way down. And you can see here it has changed the uh, input shaper type to ZV. And you can see input shaper frequency is 46.4. Um, close this, go back to the dashboard. As you can see here, that's the frequency. As I did this before to test it, you have seen on the uh, file uh, printer.cfg that the X axis has been done as, as well. It's also ZV and it's 52.6. Now I'm going to do it again and see what the difference will be like. So let's close it and go back to the dashboard. And now we're going to do input shaper uh, X axis. We click on it and let it do its thing again because we have seen here it was on. So we have to do the same thing for the input shaper for the x-axis just wait along so now we have also done it for the uh, x-axis and let's check at the configuration screen here printer.cfg and here we have it so yeah now it has changed it to the x-axis to ei 53.2 so that's a different value than before um not sure why that is let me check the dashboard what it says so the dashboard says recommended input shaper is ei shaper frequency is 53.2 that's kind of a little different so but we'll just follow along what it says otherwise why do you do input shaping so if the machine says this is the right value so we will leave it at it is and this should be about it so anyways guys if you have done this then you should just um, try to print something with it and maybe you should try to print the same print before and after so you can compare it 
I will show on the screen now um, something I print for my uh, ROG Alley. This is what it looks like before, and this is what it looks like after. And now I'll put them here again, the, the one that was printed before the fix. And now the one that was printed after the fix. As you can see, there is difference in the in the prints, but it's not completely fixed. Maybe it's just the output of the printer. I don't know, but it is like 60-70% better than before the fix. Yeah, you'll have to see if this doesn't work for you. There might be different problems with your printer, but that's about the help that I can provide. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching this short video. Hit the thumbs up if you liked the video. Hit the thumbs down if you didn't like the video. Subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more content like this in the future. Bye!